Cory here, and today I'm going to be reading a fan fiction because I was um, reading the first part of this for my collab channel. Which, speaking of, um, I'm gonna read the second part of this. So go check out the first part before you see this. It's on the collab channel. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get to read the second half on this channel because why not? Um, I wanted to finish this because it seems interesting. Uh, what just happened is Rambi died. So, yeah, um, this is the fourth chapter, I think. Uh, yeah, the fourth chapter, so, yeah. My mother and I drive home with my unconscious dad in the trunk. The trip home was long and silent. I wanted to speak about Harambe, but I knew my mother wouldn't be able to cope with hearing about his death one more time. I go to bed instantly. I cry into my pillow for hours and hours until I hear something behind me. I turn around to see what it seems like a silverback gorilla. It was Harambe's spirit. He was barely visible, but I could tell he was there. Don't cry, he says as I gulped. It's going to be okay, he says. Look into your pocket. I reached into my pocket of my pajamas to find a syringe labeled banana and narcotics. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> with a um with a thick yellow substance inside. It'll ease the pain, he says as he disappears. I put the syringe into one of my veins and inject the liquid. Who would inject strange yellow liquid into your fucking veins? How idiot is this? How idiotic is this person? Um, I begin feeling dizzy. No, duh! I go into a state of paralysis, and Harambe reappears, but this time, he's here for real. Physically. I want to scream with happiness, but although I don't make a sound, Harambe puts his fingers on my lips and makes a hushing noise, as if he knew what we- what I wanted to do. He undoes my pants and turns me around. I feel around my grand <laughs> and me with his big, powerful gorilla hands. And he begins thrusting. I can't feel anything, but I know I will in the morning. He begins roaring and screaming. Everything goes pure yellow. All I remember from the night is an odd banana sensation flowing through my body. My anus also hurts. It feels as if the banana were lodged up there. Every single night at midnight since that day, I would see Harambe and he would sing to me while I inject banana narcotics into my veins. Harambe is love. Harambe is life. What the fuck is this? It was the night before the 28th of May. Uh, this is the next chapter. Um, yeah, this is fucked up. What am I reading? It was the night before the 28th of May. I had aged a lot since Harambe had died. I was about 20 years older. I had a family, a son and a wife. I took I tuck my son into bed, and he asks me, Is Harambe going to visit us tonight? And, yes, son, I replied. I, it had become a tradition that on the night before Harambe Day, Harambe would visit all the people on Earth in the middle of the night and give them pure banana narcotics. So, as usual, me and my wife go to bed, and a few hours later, at midnight, I am woken by Harambe. He speaks to me, his voice deep and calm, soothing like usual. What is this? Paul! Uh, Harambe! Paul! I am very disappointed in you! Paul! Harambe! I am so glad to see you! Wait, what? Harambe. What do you mean, what? You have been had your dick out for me in almost for almost 19 years. I'm confused at first, but then I remember a sacred commandment given for Harambe. Um, I, I, thou on the 28th of every month shall have thy dick out for Harambe. 
Harambe, there must be a mistake here. I've always had my dick up for you. Harambe, no, you haven't. How dare you lie to me? Harambe rips off my clothes. Harambe, first you disobey my orders, then you lie to your god. Pal, what? Harambe, I'll teach you. <laughs> what am I reading? Honestly. Harambe then, without hesitation, gets aggressive and checks me onto the bed, knocking and waking my wife. <clears throat> Harambe then jumps on top of her and rips her clothes off also. He penetrates her anal cavity with me watching. His enormous, tree-sized direction tears her apart. It, I look at my wife's dead body in awe. My son walks in. Paul Jr. Mommy, Daddy, why is there lots of screaming? Is Harambe here? Paul. No, son, run! <laughs> I screamed at my son to flee, but it was too late. Harambe grabs him by the legs and slams him down onto the bed. Harambe then slips the tip into my son's mouth and makes him gargle on his mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, God. Um... My son then chokes to death while I watch every second of what's going on. Harambe then turns to me laughing as he does so. Harambe, you see what happens when you don't follow my rules? I sit there, breath taken, stuttering and mumbling to myself, unable to speak. Let this be a lesson to you, Paul. Maybe next time you won't forget. Harambe then leaves while a needle appears on my bed. Isabel, banana narcotics, uh, I meant labeled banana narcotics. I sit on the bed next to my wife and son's remains and inject the fluid into my veins. Harambe appears in front of me. He's dressed as a zookeeper with a rifle in his hand pointed to my head. I manage to faintly say something. Please, G Harambe, you're like, Paul, please, Harambe, goodbye, Paul. Bam. The end. And I don't know... There is another part, so I'm going to stop this recording and start recording the last part because it doesn't seem that long, so I should be able to finish that. And then I'll edit it together into this video, so yeah. What's that? <laughs> Dear Diary, like Ryan's story, 18th June 2016. Dear Diary, a few days ago, I started noticing very thick black hair growing all over my body. It's almost like fur. My mother and father have are worried about me. We went to a doctor yesterday, and they said they had never seen such a thing in my whole lifetime. Early in the morning, I had people knocking on my door, shouting my name, saying I was a creep. They were my friends. At least, that was what I thought were my friends. Could I call them after they said what they said? No. I'll just say I don't want... Well, I don't have what people call friends. Anyway, I also have noticed my arms increasing in size. The girth has grown so much the past week. I don't know what's going on. To be honest, I feel like I'm turning into a gorilla. I love it, yo. No, I wish I was turning into a gorilla. Ever since I saw Harambe on TV and heard his stories, I, it was like love at first sight. He looked so strong and muscular. I, w well, I wish I could just caress his arms and chest all day. Okay, this is just weird. Yes, it is just weird. This is fucked up. Why am I reading this? Um, what am I doing with my life? 21st of June, 2016. Dear Diary, at school today I got in a fight. The boys in my PA class were laughing at my body when I was getting changed. They were, as they would say, they were, as they would say, chatting, and chatting bear shit. He looks like he, they like, he looks like that hairy bow gorilla dude. One of them said, how dare you insult Harambe? By saying his name wrong? Look, like, how dare you insult Harambe by saying his name wrong? I walked up to them in anger. One of them pushed me 
into the wall. And straight away, I just started losing my shit. I threw a few hits at this one kid. That, um, the one that said Harambe's name incorrectly. He just fell to the floor. I couldn't, I could have sworn he died, but he was only unconscious. The others just looked at me in awe and ran off to go tell a teacher. The pussies. <laughs> I, then I got, um, I then got given an after school detention for literally nothing. I swear one day I'm going to kill those kids. Um, I seriously think I'm turning into a gorilla. My skin has darkened quite a fair amount. My body is basically covered in fur and I can't stop eating the goddamn bananas. Eh, maybe this is all just a dream. Wait, if this was, if this is a dream, then anything can happen. I bet Harambe will just come knocking on my door with the basket full of bananas. He will be holding basket effortlessly with his huge arms and then I will run up to him and kiss him on the cheek. I think I'm going, like, I think I'm going to wait for a minute. Nope, nothing. This isn't a dream. This is pretty fucking real. Okay, and that was the last chapter. They are still updating this, though, so, yeah, um, yeah, I'm not gonna read anymore, though. That's Harambe's love, Harambe's life. First thing that you search, Harambe fanfiction. You will see that. Um, yeah, I linked that to my friend, so don't blame me. He was prank texting me with Harambe, dicks out for Harambe lyrics, so, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go see you guys later. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys were entertained by this video. I'm gonna go... Bye, fellow manatees. I love you guys. <laughs> you guys are all amazing and perfect. Bye, fellow manatees. Peace, kids. I'm bad at outros now. I haven't made a YouTube video in so long. Um, bye.